Okay, uh, we're back. Working in the construction phase, chapter 20. Working uh, modeling parts, uh, construction parts, modeling in the construction phase, modifying parts, modeling for construction. So we talked about some of the intricacies of it and some of the uh, less known uh, theories that uh, exist within that realm. So uh, last exercise, we ran into a little bit of a speed bump and I was able to ascertain exactly where that was. I had to open the finished working model and I had to open the uh, start model and that particular precast wall had already been divided so as you can see this is the original student uh, version parts finished and this is the uh, parts start right parts start so uh, i was trying to divide a surface that was already divided oops anyway i apologize so sorry now so basically what uh, we're going to do here is uh utilize this uh to perform a function that could very well be performed with a sweep. Uh, as you read from the last BIM manager note, um, we could also uh, do this dynamically uh, and within the context of the design phase um, where we could host sweeps, where the wall could actually host a sweep. Uh, but it, it becomes problematic to a certain extent. But with this uh, building model, uh, the construction model, you can uh, bring this in uh, later on in the design phase, if uh, indeed that's your intent to get more granular, because of the fact that these things tend to be a bit more problematic around windows and openings and where it uh, may uh, require uh, a level of detail that's not required early on, right? So for any design build firm out there, this would be advantageous to you to uh, get with the program. So, again, leave your ego at the door. It would be best to leave your ego at the door. Lord knows it's cost me tons of stock options. Actually, that's not true. Somebody else cost me those unrestricted shares. I could have been a millionaire right now. <laughs> I could have been a millionaire. I may, not have, I may not be able to inherit a million, but I know I've made over a million. And it didn't come without effort. And I, I brought my ego with me along the way, and I should have left it. I should have left it home because it didn't work well there either. But I guess uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. The older you get, the wiser you get. But then again, that's not necessarily true for everyone, right? Some people you just can't teach an old dog new tricks. They were an asshole when they were young, and they were dickweed now. There's not much difference, right? She was a cunt when she was a kid, and she's still a cunt, right? Isn't that how it works? Again, this is a class of three year olds. I'm sorry if I uh, use the, uh, excuse my use of French. Excuse my use of French. In any event, yeah, that's just how it is. Some folks like to hurt other people. That's just what they do. They haven't, they did it when they were, when they did it as kids and they, and they continue to do it as adults. It's just what they do, right? Maybe there's a role for them. I don't know. Is there a role for sadomasochistic personalities in the construction field? I don't know. I don't know why. But they sure as shit seem to exist. And they exist. <coughs> These sadomasochists, they exist, man. Was that Eurythmus, a Eurythmic song? Some of them want to use you. Some of, them, some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused by you. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Society, it, it really hasn't changed, right? It's the same story, same story, same movie. We're all in the same movie, man. All stuck life through the fisheye lens. But now this dividing parts with gap, yeah, it did throw me for a loop, only because uh, I wasn't uh, focusing. So let's focus. In the previous exercise, you learned how to divide parts using datum objects in simple sketches. You also have the ability to divide parts with a predefined gap as well with a custom profile. Let's explore these options with another exercise. I just got another cup of coffee. Doing it again. Select the main part of the exterior wall face that has, been, that has the material sign and concrete precast. Click the Divide Parts tool in the contextual ribbon. So now, let's go into the project's C20 parts start, not C20 parts finished. What's your 20? I'm on your 6. All right, so select the main part of the exterior wall. We got that. Uh, we need to uh, click the Divide Parts tool within the context. It. 
so that it's transparent to the first selection. And now we're going to uh, we're going to click the intersecting reference tool in the ribbon, which is going to be transparent to that, <laughs> right? And then we're going to hit uh, filter all, so that we can look at the grids, reference planes, as well as uh, the levels. And I'm going to do. I'll make sure I don't screw this up. I promise. Scouts, scouts on. I heard something about the Boy Scouts too. They're arguing over property for sexual abuse. But then again, in life, who hasn't been sexually abused? The Me Too movement. Holy shit. I still got scratch marks on my fucking back and my front. All right, so, uh, blah, 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 blah. Level two, reference plane. X plane one and grid one. Level two, reference plane, X plane one and grid one. Can I comprehend that passage? I hope so. Where I'm going, well, they're coming to take me away. Okay, now, as you can see, you almost get a, an x-ray view of, of the uh, the wall. Now, it wants us to set the gap, right? Set the gap to one inch. And it wants us to click OK. It wants us to. This time, it was divisible. Again, chop up any way you want. But now, I want you to notice how it was divided, right? How it was divided. Because if you look, if we take a look now, let's look at the, uh, the south elevation. Okay. Now, if we look, grid lines, we have, we have the architectural grid right here, right? I notice where it is, right here. It's dividing it along that. Now, if we take a look at the the level two grid, it's right here, right? As you can see, it's synonymous, it's coplanar with where it cut, as is here. It's coplanar with where it cut. Now, the only one missing is the, uh, the reference plane. Um, if we do it here, the reference plane X, Y, 1, right? X panel 1. So if I was to go into uh, finished and I was to go to uh, visibility graphics, and this isn't in the book, but you'll see what I mean. If I was to go into view, sorry, go into visibility graphics, look and see if indeed, if they're on, for starters, Reference planes are on, but you can't see them in the view, right? You can't see in this view. So again, this is always something that you have to play with because uh, sometimes you don't um, you don't see certain things. Well, that's the level, right? I don't necessarily see this, and I'll tell you why. Because it's in, it's inherited to the family, right? It's inherent to the family. That reference plane is what's constraining the wall to the top and bottom levels. It's got a constraint parameter associated with it. Right? So, again, I'm not going to get in totally into that, but you get the point, right? So let me, um, I'm in the starts, and this is the finished. Oh, I, I closed the finished, if you noticed. I tile my views. I go to tile views. Didn't give me an opportunity to save it, but start, start. Finish is closed. But you get the point, that actually divided it now. If you look, and there's the gap, the one inch gap. So now, what the next passage goes into, um, how we could use different profiles to shape that gap, to give us you know, unique shapes. So let's talk about that. In addition to simple gaps, parts can be divided with a custom profile, which I'm gonna do in the next exercise. This will end uh, this particular uh, dividing part with gap, and then I'll create a new video uh, so that it's nice and easy for someone to find that one so that it doesn't take a year and a day. Sometimes it takes a year and a day. <laughs>